Many families who lost loved ones to COVID-19 are missing out on thousands of dollars to help pay for funerals. All right, FEMA launched a program last year that provides up to $9,000 for funeral expenses, but a review of federal data shows that only about 50% of those eligible have actually applied for reimbursement. Consumer reporter Susan Hogan is working for you with what you need to know to get this help. There's dad helping. <laughs> When Natalie and her mom unexpectedly lost their loving husband and father to COVID last year, they were left speechless. We looked at each other and said, what? Faced with $12,000 in funeral expenses, Natalie told News 4 she was relieved to learn FEMA would reimburse families up to $9,000. I really hope and pray that it will be easy, but I'm not holding my breath. But soon after applying, she told us she received a check. According to FEMA, the agency has provided more than $2.7 billion to over 420,000 individuals and families to assist with COVID-related funeral costs. What's amazing to us is that with 1,040,000 deaths due to COVID in the United States, only 520,000 families have applied. Ed Michael Reggie, who runs a funeral price comparison website, says the average cost of a funeral is $8,000, money many families who lost a loved one to COVID weren't prepared to spend. It is an unexpected expense. Many Americans don't have the right amount of money saved. They, they are living paycheck to paycheck. So this is a big help for them. According to a News 4 analysis, roughly 60% of individuals or families who lost someone to COVID in Maryland and Virginia have applied for the relief, and 80% of those applications have been approved. The approval rate is slightly lower in the district at 75%. With deaths from COVID sadly still happening each day, Reggie says it's important to let the funeral home know you're applying for reimbursement. I would recommend a family negotiate with the funeral home if they don't have the money saying, listen, we're going to be reimbursed. Here's what you need to have ready before you apply. An official death certificate that attributes the death to COVID-19. Receipts of funeral expenses incurred after January 20, 2020. Proof of funds received from other sources like funeral or burial insurance or prepaid funerals. That's because FEMA will only reimburse you for what you've paid out of pocket. Now, you cannot apply online. You can only apply by phone. And as you can imagine, there's a fraud alert. FEMA has already received reports of scammers reaching out to people offering to register them for funeral assistance. FEMA will not contact you unless you have already registered and it's completely free to you. I'm Susan Hogan, News 4. Uh, note of this as well, regardless of when someone has passed from COVID-19, there's no deadline for applying and no income requirement. And for those families who have had to pay for multiple funerals, FEMA will pay up to $35,000.